the West Hills. I'm 36 years old. I play music and do art. I had schizophrenia. I had chronic schizophrenia. I had since 1989. Roger G. Cotton asked me for $600. He told me if I don't give him the $600, he was going to blow my brains out. That's why I started hearing demons. I had three demons. Nerve wrecker, heartbreaker, and mean sucker. The demons tell me I'm a jerk, a bum, and an asshole. I yell, I scream, I holler at people on buses. The one with friends is a joy ride. That way. My mind plays tricks on me every time I say something. It brings evil voices out of my head and talks to me vulgar. Then suddenly I started raving. Chronic schizophrenia. Chronic schizophrenia. Chronic schizophrenia. I'm just doing my job as long as I got something to do. Say what I'm sorry. I just do something for myself as long as I have something to do. Okay, what type of music you make? Rock. Rock like what? Hard rock. Like what? Rock and roll. Like what? <laughs> like my own style. <laughs> like what? <laughs> what type of music? Hard rock. What? Is your voice up? Riding them streets with no music sucks. Everywhere I go, I cruise the streets being called an asshole. Plus, I'm being ridiculed and called a bum and called stupid. So, feel that. Feel that. Feel that. Chronic schizophrenia. Chronic schizophrenia. Chronic schizophrenia. Chronic schizophrenia. Rock over London, rock over Chicago. Pontiac, we build excitement. Suicide, Jim Morrison, or Kurt Cobain. I think Jim Morrison. Yeah. <laughs> Why you say that though? Because I I believe he actually did it. You believe Courtney Love had? Uh, or, or I believe Courtney Love probably had something to do with uh, Kurt Cobain's death. I mean, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, but. It's you my know opinion. What, you know what turned me on with Jim Morrison? I like him so freaking much, man. He just like, hey, fuck you, fuck the world. If you don't like him, kiss my ass. The way I see it, you know, I think Jim Morrison had his life the way he wanted to. If you want to live, he would have lived. Yeah, if you want to die, he die, so he died. But he, he had pops to die, man. Jim Morrison was mad. I listen to his songs today, man. And then my my grandma, not my grandma, my mama, all of them, they they miss some Jim Morrison. My mama, she was a Morrison fan. She was black as hell, right? Hey, y'all be cool, man. Like right. the doors, the doors, the doors. Get the fuck out of here. I'm just doing great. Let's go. He's written. I believe he's written songs about Courtney Love. Courtney Love. Uh, plus, Kurt 
Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Uh, this is a funny song. Yeah, it is. That's a nasty song, too. <laughs> Suck our mountain goat's ass. Suck our monkey's dick with poison sauce. I am learning to live each day. It's just one at a time. I'm trusting in the Lord to make it ever sublime. I am now learning how to love and forgive my fellow man as I am learning to live. Learning to live means to accept the Lord by following his powerful dictates in full court. This I can do with Jesus at my side. We now have a love that will never subside. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. The heartbeat of America, that's today's Chevrolet. I'm just doing okay. I've been on tour. Yeah? We have West doing, Coast? Yeah. Nice. I've been doing rock shows. Oh, God. I got to go on tour again with Pez on the 26th of You're April 2000. Pez? Yeah. It's pretty awesome, man. I'm just writing my songs. Cool. Sick of that guy house raw dick. Excuse me for talking like that, miss. You know what? I didn't even hear you. I was just writing up a rock song. I don't care what that demon say. Fuck that demon. I'm going to get back to my artwork tomorrow. I don't give a fuck that demon tell me. I'm going to get back to my artwork tomorrow. My demon thinks I will never draw again. I will. Stick with bananas stick sauce. If Roger didn't come in and take my damn money and put guns up to my head, I would have been all right. He took my money and smoked that damn cocaine. And now he's in jail serving 55 years to life for murder. Yeah, those big dicks. doing it for my demon. These things are all the sauce of my demon. So I can tell you his dick with banana steak sauce. He don't like that sauce at all.
thing come out right. Get one of these guys to come here. I'm probably just putting I'm about to have a hell ride. Okay. I'm about to have a hell ride. What are you trying to print out? I'm going to fix his words. Right on. Throw this other one away. Kilos. Hi. How you doing? All right, how are you? I'm just keeping up my rock and roll. Hi. I want this cover kind of place on this one with that one. Okay. Did you want to cut these laminated after? I want to laminate it. Okay. I want to eat done in cardstock white paper. Cardstock white. Mm. Okay, give me about five minutes. Okay. Don't ask me for shit. Don't ask me for shit. Chop guy. Chop guy. Once upon a time, a drug dealer was arrested for selling dope. He was charged with possession of cannabis. He was beaten to a pulp before being whisked away to jail. He goes to prison. He goes to prison. He goes to prison. He goes to prison. When John Cook went to court, he was arraigned. He was also prosecuted. Evidence showed that he was caught selling crack on the street. He goes to prison. He goes to prison. He goes to prison. He goes to prison. I just don't want to be wearing a bad temper. I don't have time for that shit. I'm a rock star. That's right. I'm a musician. Okay. Um, did you make a reservation yet? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. I put the ticket for Denver, Colorado, beginning May 17, 2000, at 3.20 p.m., and I will be coming back here on June 2nd, 2000, at 6.55 p.m. I can do whatever I needed to and wanted to in Jesus' name. I do it fairly well in the nation under the groove. Jesus Christ knows I'll make it in my life. I'll make it in my color. I'll make it in my dream. I'll make it in my years to come. I will be somebody. Right, mess? I will be somebody. I'm not gonna let that even tell me I'm a jerk, a bum, and an ass hole, at which I'm not. My diva thinks I'm, my diva thinks I'm a child killer, but I'm not one. He's a successful I'm a good man. person. I'm a successful man. Have a nice day, miss. I got a record out. I'm a rock star. Have a nice day. Take care. Okay, you too. Praise the Lord. It's Sunday, March 12, 2000 at 6.20 p.m. 
I was about to fly from Chicago midway to Atlanta, Florida. Suddenly my mean schizophrenic demon call me a jerk. Suddenly I yell, fuck you on the airplane. What's up, buddy? How you doing? I've been, yeah, I've been sending me for a long time. It's been a while. Are you got CD? You got your CD? Ah, oh, the power rock of ages. How many do you want? I'll take three of them. Take three of them. Okay. Yeah. I feel so that I might put myself to death. But you don't want me to. No, I don't. You got something new, buddy? I got you 102. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? You're not doing so good. You have a hell right? Yeah, I am. You are right now? How you do? Did you bring any small pictures tonight? No, yeah, I'm making some. Yeah, good, because I want to get one. I just got, to, I just got a book of these um, oh. trucks oh, okay. that I'm going to put on my drawings. Say, pardon me? Say, row. Row? <laughs> say, row. Make Ray say, row. <laughs> say, row. Row. Say, row. Row. How many albums back do you go? I got to never kill a neighbor at home. Okay, that we got, that we're set on, because I got, I think I got like eight of those from you last time. You know, Ray was talking about doing like a hip hop track with you, and I know that you are the rock and roller, you are the rock star. I do rock music. But you, you would I never do, do hip hop. You wouldn't do one? Okay. Oh no, my race was a rock joy ride. Oh. How about if I sample the man's that? Oh, I let you buy the one to be a fool. I'll mm -hmm. save you a small drawing. Will you? Forty bucks. Really love that. Can you afford it? Yeah, I'll start putting money away right away for that. Tool. People probably ask you this all the time. Have you ever thought about redoing, like repressing some of your older ones, like Prison Shake or... Um, no, I don't, of... I don't do those anymore. I'm not going to make those old ones. Those, are, those songs are short. You have a nice day. Right. I'll make your drawings. Thank you. I'll save you one. I'll save you one. What's up, my dick? You what's up, my dick? Hello, who's this? It's your insurance broker. Don't call my house anybody, you stupid motherfucker! I'm going to kill you. I go up to the top. I go up to the top. I go up to the top. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Are you sucking on? Superstar. Yeah, you like this rock hip? Cool. Which one is this? This is Rock Hill. Rock Hill. Please don't make me have a hell right. Are you ready? I'm ready like Getty Freddy. Hell yeah. Okay. Here we go. You are a friend to the max. You are a friend in the mix. You are a friend in me as I speak. I like you a lot like Miracle Whip. You are a friend to the max. You are a friend in the mix. You are a friend in me. I like you a lot like Insta Whip. John Chaka. John Chaka. John Chaka. Daniel Scarantella. Daniel Scarantella. Daniel Scarantella. This rock band played the Metro. Of our 800 rock fans were at the rock show. This rock band played the Metro. Of our 700 rock fans were at the rock show. The rock said it was awesome. 
It with the rooster deer's ass. The red chair said it was awesome. It with the poor man's ass. The red band put it on. The red band was stumbling the stage. The red band was stumbling the stage. The crowd went like a lion. The red chair said it with the rooster deer's ass. The rock show was over at last. A lot of rough fans but the rock band. The rock chair said it was a joy ride. It was a great rock show at the Metro. Class show! Rock over London, rock over Chicago, making music. It's the guitar shop. Rock on Chicago, Pepsi. It's the drum cola. Rock on Chicago, Pontiac. It's the driving excitement. How you like that, rock and roll, Dale? How long is the song? How long is the song? How long is the song? How about 252? Let's go. How about 251? Let's go. 255. 255. Yeah. Dig it down to 2 minutes and 51. Uh, 258. Dig it down to um, 251. I knew it. Um, yeah, somebody I think whispered in his ear a 250 perfect song like for a radio. So it's gotta be yeah, my friend, it does trouble. probably five seconds either way. They can be shorter and it's rare that they can be longer. 250. Man. The computer helps, because yeah. before this, we had to recut them until they were like really close to 250. What's up? I'll be back. I'm going to go empty out my dick. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. <laughs> do it. Idea. You can say I lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I don't know. I say a lot. I'm skinny. How you doing, Carla, honey? I love you. I love you. Give me a kiss. I love you. Say bra. How you doing, Shane? Doing good. Been a while, buddy. Did you lose weight? He did. He lost a little bit of weight, man. I did a lot good. of walking for the past two months. I'm looking, I'm looking slim. <laughs> it's slim and trim, man. I don't know, Wes. Welcome. Come on in. Give me a head, bud. Say right. Here's a Joe Hunter 2 city for you. Thank you, sweetie. You can see that I lost weight, right? These pants don't hardly fit me now because I'm losing weight. Sounds better too. You must have lost some weight. I did. Because last time I flipped out on you when you squeezed yourself out of a cab, and then like after he finished pushing himself out, he could barely get out the door. Then he reached back in and grabbed a big bag from McDonald's and walked in here with Big Macs and fries. And what did I do? I screamed at you for like ten minutes. You gave me a hell ride about it. I did. I gave you a bloody hell ride because you're gonna kill yourself eating like that. You don't want me to do that. I don't. Come on, hug me. Because we're gonna hang out in the old age home together, right? Yeah,
this is art supply store. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he walked in one day and I was like motioning to the boss to let him know that some crazy drunk guy walked in. And then I see my boss look at Wesley, go, Wesley, how's it going? I was like, shit, he knows him. And I was introduced and we've been friends ever since. I've been friends for 11 years. Yeah, it's been a long time. But he was living with this guy who was kind of a jerk and kind of taking advantage of him, taking money. I went over there a couple times. It's, it was a bad scene. Dark. I mean, the thievery drugs and bad sex stuff. But I couldn't find anyone else who would rent to him. That was the thing. He had no credit history. He didn't present well. So I was so tired of trying to help him. I'm like, well, I got extra room. Come and live with me for a couple months. A couple months turned into five years at least. This was like in 89, and at that time he was just an artist. He didn't make music. Do you remember that night we were sitting on Walcott? Yeah. And you said, you asked me if I had a lined notebook, and I did. And he took it and he wrote down, I think the first song was I'm Sorry I Got Fat. Yeah. You started, he, st he probably wrote five songs that night, and they were just hysterical. You know? And he just did it. Say Ronald Reagan! in the first place. Superman was being such a roughneck. Suddenly I opened the bedroom door on Spider-Man's sneaky ass. I caught him kissing my girlfriend and beat him to a pub with a rubber hose. I whipped Superman's ass. I whipped Spider-Man's ass. I whipped Batman's ass. I whipped Batman's ass. I whipped... There he is, Superman. How you do? Can I sit down? Yeah, please do. Mm -hmm. yeah, be careful with it, Wes. When I first met Wesley, he came in um, to the store Genesis. And he would spend most of his time in Genesis, mainly in the frame shop that I was running at the time, just drawing, doing his street drawings. Once, back in 1990, uh, I happened to be doing some sound recordings, so I brought in a little handheld cassette recorder. And at that point, Wesley's just, he just started going off into it. He could go on for hours, 90 minutes at a time, a 90 minute tape, just saying the most, whatever came into his head. And so I took those recordings and I put it to music, mixed it into some music. Remember that stuff, that yapping and yakking, Wesley? Yeah. Wesley, just a yapping yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wesley, Wesley, just a yuck 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 yuck. Wesley, you like that though? Yeah, it was good stuff. You like that though? I did. Remember the second one? Yeah. <gasps> I'm running my ink pen. I'm running my mouth. I'm running my ink pen. I'm running my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Class of the government, class of the government, class of the government. Ah, oh, shut the fuck up. St. Nick, bring you Christmas. Tell I'm gonna tell St. Nick that you've been acting so bad, Reagan, and you won't get nothing for Christmas. But you never will, like I say, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer kicked your ass before every time you fucked up, did he? Yep, and he'll kick it again. <laughs> you better love that. And the rest of you all mustard green motherfuckers. Go jump in the lake. Goodbye to you and George Bush. Both of you apes. And on the broad camo side, yeah, man, pick up your shovel. Yeah, mound your ass. And I shall leave you to the promised land. Suck my dick, suck my dick, suck my dick, suck my dick. That man's no good, he was never no good, and he can suck my dick. ...deploy a limited number of the MX missiles in existing silos 
as soon as possible. I have to After six years of searching right now, for survivable basing mode, I'm just going to tell you one thing, Reagan. Take your taxes, take your um, missiles, and take the Soviet Union and the Soviet missiles and all these other nuclear missiles and the MX nuclear missiles and all these gunboats and stick it up your ass. Does it down on your forehead come from head bumping? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mark of the Hindu. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. your third eye right there. You know what the third eye is? What? That's when you when your third eye opens up, you can see internally. You can see what's behind everything. You start seeing the truth when your third eye opens up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's an awesome stuff. That's great, Wes. I'll come see it's you. It's a power center. You. Why, do you, why do you do this head bumping, you think? I like head bumping because I'm crazy. My head bumping jaw ride started opening up in 1989. That's why I started bumping heads and saying rah and row. Say rah. Rah. Say row. Rah. Say rah. Rah. Say row. Rah. Give me a hit, bud. Yeah. Rah. It makes you happy when people yeah. say rah and row. Yeah. You've been doing a rah and row thing for a long time. Yeah. You've been pretty happy then. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I am. I know you are. I'm the happiest man ever. You're making other people happy too with your music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love it. You know, I put out my next record called Delilah's 2. You are on it. You are my friend to the max. You are my friend in the mix. You are my friend in me. I like you a lot like instant whip. Wow. I'm looking forward to that. Bye, one. Fredericks. Well, how many things do you want about you? You take it on two. I have a song about you on that CD. Okay, I'm going to have to take at least two. Three for 25. It's a deal. Yeah. Okay, buddy. All right, Wes. Okay, Bob Fredericks. All right. Give me a hand bumping goodbye. All right. Say rah. Rah. Say rah. <laughs> Get the rat's nest off your head. Get that crazy ass mullet off your skull. Take your ass to the barber shop. Tell the barber that you're sick of looking like an asshole. So I look different? You look different. I'm the same. You got big on me. Well, you're the same. I am big. How's Tom Wicks doing? You know what, Tom, Tom Wicks can Dad, it's time Wicks died. You know what was bad, Wesley? What happened? He got shot. Look at No, 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 no. Tom Wicks became the principal of the school. But he had a heart attack. How's Budgie doing? Budgie's doing good. You remember Budge? I remember Budgie. Budgie's still at the group home. Yeah. Come on in. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Hello. Hey. I'm the clown, you know. He's a school clown. <laughs> We've all got a lot of school clowns. Yeah, yeah, I need one. Like, no, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Newsom, I just want to... Go, go away. Like, this is our good principal Derek, right Derek, here. Derek, I'm, I'm just like that. Go, go, go. Praise the Lord, I'm 37 years old. I'm glad I'm 37. What, what happened to you there? Was that all was there? i tell you what happened. In 1991, while I was riding the four-car school bus from downtown, coming home from doing St. Mm -hmm. Chicago, John Dillard, the one that I never knew, slashed me in the face with a bus cutter. Just out of I was talking to myself at the time. Okay. He found out I was talking to him. Then he put <laughs> out a bus cutter and chased me down the aisle off the bus and slashed me in the face. He's in jail serving 25 years. Very that's good. one. That's 9,132 days. You seems great. You remind me of a, just a bigger, older, wonderful Wesley. I'm yeah. wonderful. I'm big. I'm older. He had a super intellect and a super heart. But never could, well, how do you say, you always kind of walked to the beat a of a different heart, drum. And I walked at a beat of a different drum. Oh, but it was a good survivor. I'm just one busy man. I'm just a good survivor. 
I'm just sitting right on the seat and right. And sometimes when people... I'm 6'5 now. I don't know. I just love to be a rock star and make that music come alive. What about your artwork? That's how I found you. I still do my artwork, though. My cousin and Richard Goldman owns an art store up north. Uh-huh. And Wesley does that I remember. I draw so good. I draw so well. I draw so great right on. Away. We're not sure he was, um, it wasn't a nice way. Did Quinn just get killed? Did he get killed by a gang member? Mm, I don't know. He just got killed. Yeah. How's Charles Bowman doing? Is he in jail? I haven't seen Charles Bowman. He didn't keep in touch with us. Who was in foster care back then? Thurman Chisholm? Thurman Chisholm. Thurman How's Thurman? he doing? Is he he's dead? doing, no, he's fine. I'm doing I remember good. Wesley had a remember. You had a crush on Monica. I did. And she would always braid your hair for you. Look yeah. For you. She got married. We had three beautiful boys and is doing wonderful. I probably wanted to get married. All I had to do is find me a woman. Hi, I'm How you doing? I'm Wesley Willis. Okay. What's your name? Jackie Love. I'm glad to meet you. You work here? Yes, I work with the Youth Development Program. I'm glad to meet you. I'm Wesley Willis. Wesley Willis, I'm 37 okay. years old and I'm a rock star. Well, all right. That sounds good I'm to me. I'm a musician that makes music and get paid all the time. That sounds good I to me. Now, up, he needs to talk to our kids. I play at those venues. Okay. I play at those big venues and make good money. Okay, okay. That sounds good I put my good money in the me. bank so that the robbers don't get me for it. Okay. <laughs> Let it draw interest. I just you. know one thing. Money makes robbers. You know that. Robber m money makes killers. Money makes burglars. The money makes game members. Okay. Right? You no, know, that's right. You know, that's right. I think Wesley kind of did very well at overcoming a lot, right, Wesley? Oh, uh, yes, I did. Him and his brothers. I'm going to go to Denver, Colorado to see a priest okay. so I can get some exorcism to get rid of those you demons. Well, when Wesley was a teenager, you didn't have any many issues with demons, right? I didn't. Hmm. I went to doctors for it ever since 1990. Ever since when I was um, 27 years old okay. and big, Rosie Connor was my mama's boyfriend. My mama was named Andy Willis. She was nice to me. She cared about me. She always nice to me. And she told me that Rosie Connor was a jerk. Rosie Connor always had a gun. He had one of those unlawful guns. He wanted to shoot her. He threatened my mama with a gun. He threatened me with one too. And I told Roger Cotton, if he put his hand on me, he would be in jail for a long time, locked up. I told Roger Cotton that he just didn't understand me. He killed a man. girl on 574 State Assembly Place. He's in jail right now for murder serving 40 so years. That's 14,608 days. My mom's so okay, but my mama can't walk. Her toes got froze off in them. Big apartment building on 52nd and Laughlin. So is your mom safe now? She's safe. Good. She's in a nursing home. She's 75 years old. So then are old. you feeling better? But I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm feeling much better. Very good. Very good. I'm making sure to eat right. I'm making sure to stay away from sugar. This is a bad bus ride. It is no fun at all. It is a hell ride. It is a freak out hell bus. Stay up to help us, stay up to help us, stay up to help us, stay up to help us. 
As I was getting on the bus, I called the bus driver, ain't no good cocksucker. He then told me to go sit down or get off the bus. He was a real fucking jack off, although he can't suck my dick. Stay up to help us, stay up to help us, stay up to help us, stay up to help us. How many hell bus rides he had each day. That was a bad week. I think that one thing that if you if you're doing the thing on Wesley, a good point that your audience should come away with is the fact that people who are in Wesley's position are underserved as far as their health care needs and Wesley is exceptional. He has a lot of friends out there who know how to get things done in the system, who know how to be demanding with a doctor. I think that someone like Wesley um, should be used to point out all the people who are not getting all the help that Wesley is getting, who don't have the breaks that Wesley is getting because of his personality. Wesley is very lucky to be alive. It's only because of crazy circumstances that he hooked up with Dale, for example. Uh, I went to get a prescription filled once and the pharmacist wouldn't fill it. He said, this would kill a horse and I won't fill it. You guys need to go back to your doctor and get a real prescription. So uh, I talked to this doctor and we wound up going down to like placebos. And I was like, Wes, you don't need that shit. You know you don't need that shit. You know, could be a pussy. He's like, I know it, but sometimes I just do. So I went down to the placebo thing, and then the doctor was like, Wesley, you're ready to just stop. And he was like, I just once in a while I might need it. And the doctor was like, well, there hasn't been anything in the pills for the last month. And Wesley was like, oh. So, I mean, and he was on a little, but he was really pretty straight. I takes my therapy, you know? I mean, it's a lot harder to keep it together. Men's are a pretty easy cop-out. Take a bunch of pills, and you're like, Instantly on vacation. He'd have to get into a plan, it's not gonna happen. And he'd have to hook up with a therapist and go all the time and get to trust somebody and all of that. So it, that sort of happened with us, you know? It was sort of a business, you know, like a traveling rock band. It was like being around five mothers, you know, four mothers. Most people in his situation are just given as many drugs as will keep them quiet and nothing else is done with them because there's no money in our system to to give them the help that they need. The problem is that these drugs have cumulative effects over a person's lifetime, and they're permanent and irreversible. There's things that will damage Wesley in ways that are going to make him unhappy for the rest of his life. If his medicine is too strong, he's really heavily sedated, he has trouble speaking, it causes his hands to shake. On the other hand, when he doesn't get enough medication, he goes crazy. So I guess there's, you either have to find a good balance or what I would love to have happen is I would love for Wesley to get off of those meds completely. You yeah, something to say to Tammy so I could film it and show it to her? I love her. She's a beautiful girl. You are my beautiful love. You are my nice friend. You are my lovely lady. I love you like a milkshake. Tammy Smith. Tammy Smith. Tammy Smith. Wesley, who's molesting you? Uh, my daddy. Yeah, it was his dad. It was mom's boyfriend. He used to like make him and his brothers watch him fuck his mom in front of him. My mom used to suck dick. Yeah, his mom was uh, used to, you know, go down on people for fucking money for dope and shit. But well, anyway, I was putting together this. Like, if you're sick, say if you got a hundred and three degree temperature, I don't know what that is in Celsius for you fucking Canadian. Like your rectal temperature is two to three degrees higher, so you could cook like macaroni and shit like that up your ass if you're fucking sick. So I had this whole rectal cookbook I was working on. I, dude, I threw them all out. I mean, I had homosexuals fucking showing up at my door 
And I was living at home at the time, and my dad would answer the door, they'd ask him if they wanted a blowjob and shit. It attracted, like, fucking deviants. I'm a private investigator. My dad owns a uh, security company. When I'm here, I do private investigations. It's usually it's somebody stalking somebody, and it's like, let's say they're married, it's like a boss and they're married, and it's cramping their marriage because they're fucking so obsessed with like, this employee. So they hire private investigators to film up. Yeah, that's what it is. It's Damn, fucking... But you don't mind doing that? Well, no. Who cares, man? It's fucking money. Mike, so, how'd your mirror get cranked? Uh, I fucking ran over a guy. No, I uh, hit a construction thing. I think he's gonna have to move whoa, his seat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Drunk driving is no joke. It is no accident. You wanna go to the fucking zoo, Wes? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go to the fucking zoo. Good. A year and a half ago, approximately, he weighed more than this, and he sounded like he was snoring. His, his, you know, breath was just really labored, and I was pretty concerned at that point. But that was partially medical, related to the medicine he was on at the time. Saprexa. And it was incredibly effective. I mean, he didn't hear any voices. For the first time ever, I saw this, like, peacefulness in Wesley, and, you know, it was nice to see him not stressed out by the voices, but the weight gain just wasn't worth it, so they took him off it. Now, I know it worries you when I say you're overweight, but you just got to keep working on it. Well, girl, Joe, I want you to go with me down and pick up the right foods. Well, we've been, gone See, grocery too. shopping together, Wes. You know how to do that. You just don't. I just don't. We can do it again. Yeah, we'll do it again. He doesn't like to do it alone. I don't like to do it alone because a demon will make me freak out. I'm already doing. What's that, Wes? Here? You find a girlfriend, I can't get a damn thing. What are you talking about, Wes? Okay. You have plenty of women. I've been on a road with you. They throw themselves at me, Wes. I thought your girlfriend was Amy Gorman. Get up money and being broke, it makes a person want to kill somebody and get locked up. Oh, what's she got money on it? What are you talking about? Yeah. What's your work at the zoo? Are you going to have a good time today? Or you get yeah, proud? I'm going to have a good time today. Yeah, fuck your people. Stop listening. Let's go watch the, uh, the apes dupe each other. This is fucking hell, so I'm fine. Hey, some of friends. Ace dupe each other in the ass. Ace pick buzz off each other. Ace are so nasty bastards. My yelling got me put out of the art store. The voices in my head cussed at me. I was yelling like a wild animal. I felt like a jackass screaming at the top of my lungs. Alphurs, 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 Alphurs. Hey, man, yeah. put a tunnel on the 31st street, that's the danger. That's fine. Suck on my soupy ass. <laughs> as I turn the corner to your left now, as the discovery center up there, that has a theater in there where you'll find a slideshow. It's stupid to talk about that. Also, where we have our normal classroom activities. We do a lot of classroom activities for school groups throughout the year, as well as anybody that wants to sign up individually. I write songs about animals. I write songs about bands, I write songs about state policemen, and I write songs about cops. And I write songs about people who go to jail, and people who come out of jail, and people who go to prison. I write songs about all that too.
I just love to write rock songs and be a rock star. That's the way the world pack a dirt in his ass. That's the way the world pack a dirt in his ass. <laughs> yeah. See, he's a rock star. I just love to rock and whip a pack of dirt in his ass. The rock show with the spider monkey's ass. <laughs> you have any books on llamas? No, no books on llamas. You have any books on reindeers? Um, any book on deer? Um, book, uh, we have some books on deer. I need one. Okay. Um, Who's ass or whatever ass or whatever ass about? Excuse me for talking like this. It's the songs I've read about my demon. You've been on Man Cow before, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. Oh, Wesley Willis. Hi, I'm Laura. It's nice to meet oh, you. Oh, Wesley Willis. I'm pleased to meet you. This is my son, Brian. I got to meet you, Brian. I got to know you. <laughs> I just get in the book so I can write songs about bestiality. Okay. So I can make rock and roll songs about them. Songs about deer, huh? Yeah. That's what I do. And I got to tell a demon what to do. I'm just using these how to do my B-Sidey songs so that demon will leave me alone. Okay. I'm yeah. just making all the rock songs up. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, how's that? That's cool. Okay, thank you very much. Have You're a great, welcome. Have a great evening. All right, you too. You have a nice day too. Thanks. Bye-bye now. Praise the Lord. Tell a, tell a point monkey. It's like a teleporting monkey's dick. It's like a great cheap mango bay's ass with poison sauce. A great cheap mango bay? Mango bay. It's like a barberry ape. Barberry ape. Say ra. Ra. But my head. Say ra. Ra. Suck a polar bear's funky ass. Suck a racehorse's cut with Heinz tomato ketchup. Suck a donkey's shitty ass. Suck a male camel's stick with hoisin sauce. Suck a cheetah's dick. Suck a cheetah's dick. Suck a cheetah's dick. Suck a cheetah's dick. Suck a European bison's smelly ass. Is that your computer mic? Yeah, it was. Can I work on your computer so I can write that be steady song? Absolutely. Drink a camel's cum. Drink a camel's cum. Number one, I'm going to do this song again. Number two, I'm going to do this song again all the way up your ass. And number three, I'm going to fuck your ass up like in a car crash. And number four, I'm going to fuck you up like a goddamn accident. And number five, Jesus is the answer. <laughs>
liberty. Liberty a person? Yeah. A friend? Yeah, he is. Godfather of being a rock musician. I'm the Godfather of singing. I'm the Godfather of taking everyone on a music show ride. I love the rock and travel. This is my rock and roll music career God gave me. God gave me this rock music career to keep me busy. Back in 1991, I used to hit old people with folding chairs. Suddenly, I moved to the north side of Chicago, Illinois in the summer of 1992. It made a rock star out of me at last. Rock over London, rock over Chicago, our state, you're in your hands. Especially early on, his persona at home was a lot more, I don't know, I mean, Wes, I don't know if you you put on a bit of an act sometimes, or maybe... Yeah, I do, I put on a lot of acts. Yeah, there's a lot of acts. I put on musical acts all the time. 